28% of students are enrolled for free and reduced lunches in Cass and Clay counties, which leaves a large number of kids potentially missing meals during the summer months. Valley News Team's Rose Itzkovitz checks out the WISE summer food service program and how it's growing to feed more hungry kids. One in six children do not know where their next meal is coming from, and that's a nationwide statistic, but I would say that also mirrors our community. The Cass Clay YMCA has been serving free meals for kids up to 18 years old for the past six summers. But Learning Center VP Lori Temke says it was just a couple years ago that she started keeping track of the total meals the Y serves. That number back in 2016 was 23,000. And I took that and I compared it to the number of children that are on the free and reduced lunch program during the school year. According to the North Dakota Department of Public Instruction, more than 7,000 students are reported to be enrolled in either a free or reduced lunch in Cass and Clay counties. Temke says she realized those 23,000 meals only covered 5% of that population. So it really um, incited me to build more sites that would serve meals across the community in low-income areas. That next year, the Y doubled its number of food sites. And we serve 50,000 meals at those sites. That was last summer. This year, there's a new goal. Up to 75,000 meals. Temke says all the meals are nutritionally balanced. It's all food that kids like. I visited some kids at Jefferson Elementary. They're part of the Wise Summer Program, but eating the same food offered for free meals. How do you like the food here? It's good. How do you like the food here? It tastes good. Do you have a favorite meal? or? I like cheese omelets. Yeah. How often do they do that here? Not very often. What do they have here that you like a lot? Mm, their meatballs probably that they had today. How does the food compare to your mom's cooking? Not that much. <laughs> <laughs> but good enough, right? Yeah. And the wise Lori Temke says their work is far from done. We really want to build that number up as much as we can. You know, if we're meeting 5%, even 10%, we need to meet 100%. In Fargo, Rose Iskavis, Valley News Live. Tamke says next summer she wants to work on getting more middle and high school students to the summer food service program as they see those age groups the least. The program does not require registration. To see all the times and locations, head to our website and click on this story.